So Cox has just switched over to Yahoo for email. Um, and it's had a lot of customers of mine confused or wondering what they need to do to set up Yahoo email this way on their mail clients like Apple Mail and such. So what you have to do is go into your account details on Yahoo and click the security tab up here right at the top there. Okay and you've got to go down and generate an app password to work with the Apple Mail app. So you'll click that and get started and then type in a name like maybe the device model you're using and mail app like this. Click generate password. There is your app password. Click copy here. Now we are going to open the mail app. Now I am showing you on a new computer this. So it has never had an account on here before. Most likely you already have an account. So to add this new account on your computer, you're going to click on mail in the upper left. Click on settings and then once that window opens, click the accounts tab at the top. I would suggest deleting your current Cox account on the left by selecting it and clicking the minus symbol. Now click the plus symbol in the lower left corner. That will get you to this exact window we are at right here on this new computer. Okay, click on other mail account. You will not do Yahoo here. Click on other mail account at the bottom. And then click continue. Now, this here will appear. For your name, you're going to put in your full name that you want people to see when they get an email from you. Email address, put in your email at cox.net. Then you will paste in the app password that we just copied from Yahoo's website. And click sign in there. Now this isn't going to work well because this is just a test account that I it's bogus that I put in here. So, yeah, it's going to spin for a while. Okay, and then once it's done here, we have to edit the IMAP and SMTP servers because they will still pick up Cox's server information for some reason. It's just not set up correctly. In this transition, it's still picking up. Cox's information. So once this comes up here, there we go. All right, now email's good, username's good. It will pick up your email address for a username. Change this to imap.mail.yahoo.com and then change this one outgoing to smtp.mail.yahoo.com. Now, this is using IMAP. I suggest using IMAP. If you still are using POP, you can do pop.mail.yahoo.com. But I suggest doing IMAP anymore. You can look up the differences and whether each one will benefit you. But IMAP is usually what I would say 90% of people use. Now, this is not going to work here, again, because this is just a test account, so it's going to spin for a little bit here. Okay, so you won't get an error like this, but there. Um, I would uncheck notes here, because you probably aren't syncing notes with this account. This here is a new feature. You don't have to protect your mail activity. You can click that. Okay, now... Some of those settings you may not have seen on your own device because this is a brand new system here. Brand new computer setting up the app the first time. Now let's click on mail in the upper left and click settings. Once that opens, click on the accounts tab at the top. Now you'll see that new account there and 
Here you see your email address. Now you'll go to server settings tab there. Your username up here should be your full email address at cox.net on there. So type that in if it's not there. I don't think mine's there because the verification didn't work. Down here under SMTP settings, also you can put your username in, which is your full email address. And then down here, uncheck this, automatically manage my connect, manage connection settings. Put in port 465 and hit save. Now, of course, this verification probably won't work, but that is the settings that you need to put in there. No, nope. okay. So, that's what you need. And really, that should do it. Now you can close this here window, the settings window. Now, mine's going to keep popping up to save, and it won't verify it successfully, so... Um, I'm going to probably end up here hitting don't save and not saving any of this that I just did for you guys. Um, yeah, because it's not going to work. So, but here I want to show you on this account information tab. That's where you can name your account just so you can see it over on your sidebar. Just something different there. Because um, by default it's going to say Cox or Yahoo. And if you have multiple mail accounts, it's kind of helpful to rename it there. Um, here is where you can edit your full name that other people will see, too. Right there. So edit email address, and that's where you can click there and change it, your full name. So full name is what other people will see when you send an email to them. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll close this, don't save. All right, so we got that done, basically. And yours should be working at this point if you have a valid email address. I don't with Cox anymore, so um, that's why mine doesn't work. But yours should work. Thanks for watching today, and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this.